Hello everybody, welcome back to Margate Glory. My name is Johnny, this is my channel, JDFM. Last episode, form was good. This episode, form is terrible. We play two of our relegation candidates, and I'm nervous. Let's get into it. So welcome back everybody and here is our recent form, the last game if you remember correctly was Woke Game, we beat those 5-3 and since then it's been okay, a few decent victories pocketed in amongst these big red circles, it hasn't been good and today well it's going to be a huge one and if you do like what you see coming up please hit that like button and if you're new to the channel subscribe it means an awful lot to me. Those two games mentioned haven't done Waterlooville, we're going to skip the South End game because they're not really our competition. And Kings Lane are going to be the second game because they, oh, they are two spots behind us, but they've got two games in hand. Look how close this is. The reality is the bottom three teams, Bromley, Woken and Havant, they're gone. Chuck them in the bin. We don't need to worry about those. But Kings Lynn, Eastleigh, Margate, Boston, South Shields, that's where the action is. That's where we are fighting for our lives. And I want to play as many of those games on camera as possible. So I think... This season's going to come down to the wire. So without further ado, let's get into that first game. Right then, for the game against Havant and Water Toiletville, we are going to be playing this wonderful 4-1-2-2-1. It's the saving Margate tactic we've used previously. It's worked well, but we've played some tough teams, and I think that's why it's not really showing as good as I think. So, starting 11, super stable at the moment, to be fair. Karina goes, Porter Swift, Parker, Apaya Forsen at the back with King holding... The, the fourth in front of the four with Wilkinson and Catton doing all the work in front of him. Then Lozer and Hill on the wings, Catton inside with Riley, who is actually doing half decent of lace. Return of the Mac has popped up with six goals. Actually, you can't see because my fat head is in the way, but he hasn't scored a single goal in the last five games. Wait there. There it is. Look. Hiding around the side. Jesus, he's playing terrible. Do you know what we do today then, Mac? Off you go. Wabo. It's time, mate. And do you really want to be a target man? You probably don't, do you? But you're as good as that as anything else. So target man, you shall be. I do love a last minute change. Now let's get into this game. We need a positive team talk. We have to win this game. These are two must win victories today. Oh my word. Yes, we could fall into the relegation position. And only Swifty's motivated. Captain Marvel himself he stood there motivated. The rest of the boys do not seem to care. Let's demand a bit more. We're up against a 4-4-2 highlight of those. Ooh, Louis Holzman, his second goal of the season. And we're a goal down inside seven minutes. Back sticks there. And Holzman gets up above several of our defenders. We concede a lot of goals from the air. Literally. Everybody seems to be like six foot nine compared to us and we have not started well at all what is going on here another highlight swifty get a red wabo that's it my son i put you on there to make a difference 52 goals last season and you haven't really turned up this season mate i'll be honest a pie of not many options in the middle but loser is one of them he should not have scored that loser jamal loser fifth goal of the season headed it from like 75 yards out Let's watch this again. Wilkerson, really good ball out to a pie of Forson. Bit of space, cuts it back very nicely. Lows ahead, is it? Oh, Ashby Hammond. You need to go and have a word with your glove manufacturer. Because that was dreadful. And with the 20 minute mark coming in, this has not been a good performance. Stat wise, I think it's three shots in the entire game, but we might have another one here. A pie of force who's having a great game. I'll give him that out wide again. Can he get the ball in? No, he loses it. Easy. Swifty. What an absolute kung fu kick that was, my friend. Oh, and the keeper goes long. Swifty clears it again. Gray. Oh, I'm not going to say that name. Back to Magri. Swifty again, he's having a beast of a game in the back. There's a few players who are standing up and being counted. Crean is also one of those. Oh my days. We might have to change a few things here. Let's go attacking. We're playing bottom of the table here and we're going positive. 4-4-2 we're up against. I'd suggest that they're getting us 
on the wings a bit more because of our inside forwards. Wilkinson with a bit of space in the middle. He's running forward, gets into Wapo. That was a terrible pass. Oh my word. Jaden Anthony, 10th goal of the season. This formation might have to go now. Wilkinson, look at this simple pass. Just gives it away. Sowerby, route one. Anthony's there. Keeper could have come out. Instead, he levitates for half an hour. And 2 1 down within half an hour. Oh, let's fire these boys up for goodness sake. Right, let's spread them wide a bit. 4 4 2. Let's get out wide. Pass into space. Get a bit of pace in behind. Let's hit the early crosses. I'm not bothered about working the ball into the box. Let's go a bit more direct. Slow it right down. Uh, we don't need to be expressive. Let's keep it nice and simple, please. Right. Let's get a highlight for half time. Not going to happen, is it? Oh, my days. So, 2 1 down against the bottom team in the league. They were terrible. I'm throwing a water bottle. And they're demotivated. Oh, boys. Do you know what? I'm starting to think maybe I brought in too many new players at the start of the season. And the core of the team has been ripped out by none other than me. Jazz is coming on for Tyler. Any other old faces? Maybe Georgie Boy can come on. Vogel. Oh, there's not much on the bench in terms of options. Chris, you're a 6.2, mate. And I've got nobody to bring on in your position. Oh, my word. Right, anyway, 60-minute mark, and I'm stood in the changing room on my own looking at a board. Nothing much is happening here. We're going to go very attacking. Let's have a look. I'm going to change it up. i tell you what we're going to do. If you were having such a stinking game, you can come off. Wallace is there, right? Wapo's there. Lowe's is going in the middle. Hill can go back there because he's coming off for... Oh, nobody. Jazz, sorry, bruv. You're going to have to go right back there. You want to be an advanced playmaker on support. Hill, who's a 6.4. Oh, Vogel's coming on for him then, right? Yes, I like that. Advanced midfielder on support. Target man. Loza, what can you be, mate? You can be a pressing forward, yes. And Wabo can also be a pressing forward on attack, though. Let's push them. Defend from the front. Let's demand a bit more. One thing I need to do, focus through the middle. We don't need to do that. We'll underlap. We'll play narrow since we're playing narrow. Um, I don't want to run. I want to pass the ball. Let's pick that tempo up and go super short passing. Go. Score goals. Vogel. Oh, there's not many plays in support of him. King. That was not the ball I wanted. Wabo. Back to Jazz. Who has been desperate for a game. I'll tell you what I need to do is push these wing backs a bit more forward. Oh, because they're going to be our only option. Gray. Out wide. Is he going to get the ball in? He is. Deacon. Oh, no. No, 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 no. 3 1 down. Bottom of the league. This tactic isn't working. Look at them. They are just all ball watching. What is going on? I've changed it to this. I've gone back to the origin of FM21, my Atalanta saver. We had so much luck. This is way too advanced for the league we're in. But desperate measures call for desperate actions. Lows are out wide. Admittedly, the tactic hasn't come into effect here. King on the ball. Wilkinson now. Oh, he had a pass through, but he delayed and he loses it. George, you had a stinker today, mate. I don't like to say it, but you've not played well at all. Let's demand a bit more if we can from these boys. We can. We might as well go attacking. I don't need to be positive. Oh, we're not going to win, are we? 86 minute mark. Lows are on the ball. Cuts inside. He's got options out wide. But he gets the ball in Wabo. Offside or not? It is. Oh, no. Nothing is going in our favour at all. And that's it. The minutes are ticking by. 80% possession. We're into the relegation zone as well. Oh, lads. Lads, lads, lads. Right then. I think I need to go back to the drawing board because that was not good at all. I am not pleased, lads. We play Kings Lynn, which becomes a must-win game. They're level on points. They're two games in hand above us. If we lose that, there will become a little bit of a gap between the bottom four and safety. Right, let's get this South End game out of the way, and then we'll be back for the Kings Lynn game shortly. 
Okay, we're back for the last game of this episode, and the one in between was the South End game. We lost 4-1. They're a good team. They shouldn't be where they are in the league, and they battered us with ease. I am a bit worried, but if you look at Club Vision, it does say that we're still a B minus. Let's not forget we're only supposed to survive or battle bravely to stay up, which we are doing. I wouldn't say there's much bravery on the pitch right now, but I am certainly brave. My contract also expires shortly. I've made some changes. We tried out that Margate tactic for the South End game, which didn't work in the slightest. Today, we're going back for the 4-3-3, but I've shifted it up entirely. I've changed a few rows. I've gone into player instructions. I have really, really tinkered, and I'm hoping we're going to get some results. So let's dive into it. So as I say, my contract is ending. Literally, the next click along, I get a contract offer. 750 quid a week, £18,000 transfer budget. Yes, please. Let's start negotiations. And I'll be honest with you, lads, I'm just going to accept it. I know it's only for a year, but... I was honestly thinking I was going to be sacked. Anyway, game time. And this is the 11 we're running with for today. I've made a few changes. I brought in some old faces who we need to come back for stability. Peak is one in particular who's come in. The midfield of Catton, Wilkerson, a king who's dropped back to an anchor. Porter and a pyre force and are now on support instead of attack. It just was not working. These guys are now inverted wingers instead of inside forwards deep line playmaker instead of a box-to-box -box midfielder lots and lots of things have changed let's see if it works okay team talk today i expect nothing but a win and i mean that you boys have to win if we lose this game we are bang in trouble now let's hope for some early highlights we're in the beautiful pink kit today which is sat behind me but there actually i'm wearing the blue one today good tackle there from wood who loses it oh come on boys we got the Break Lennon now, who's had a couple of games away. Mac Riley shoots from an impossible angle, and let's be honest, he was never going to score. Here we go, a pie force and long throw. Lennon, who does bring that added aerial threat for us, and King back there now. I keep thinking we're in blue. I was going to say we got no men back, but we had Catton. Oh, mate. Oh, Mac Riley, the target man who I put up on attack instead of support. I'm hoping we'll have more of a presence in the box. And here's a real chance now. Who's on? King is on free kick. Score, my son. Get in there. Come on, Toby King. A massive goal. Second goal of the season. Brilliant, brilliant free kick. Absolutely whips it into the top corner. And I'll be honest with you, free kicks on football manager are a little bit overpowered. They do tend to score a lot. And now... We are clear of them. I'm not going to say another word until this is taken. Hancock. Offside. Ho, ho, ho. Get in there. Oh, yeah, we are now out of the relegation. So I'm three points clear of Kings Lynn, who have a game in hand over us. This is literally a six-pointer. Brown, Crean, mop it up. Brown, Crean. Strange words put together. Right then. Let's demand a bit more now. I know we're only 1-0 up. I want more. And they're starting to get into this end. I see that's a great ball. Is it offside? He's got his flag up. That's two goals offside. Oh, my word. The FM gods are smiling. Mac Riley, Catton, who's definitely offside. It's the third offside goal of the game. And to be fair, they've all been spot on. Wilkinson, good ball. Lennon's there with his height. Not another one. Four goals disallowed. Oh, this linesman's going to have cramp in his arm. This is crazy. Mand a bit more. Hancock, another free kick. Green. Oh, and we've hit the post about 10 times in this game also. They are playing a 4-3-3, very attacking. We need to work out how to counter that. There's three boys in midfield. Oh, let's have a think. We could maybe take advantage of that now. With the three boys up top, very centrally. Three midfielders. Let's stretch them a bit. Let's go a bit wider and stretch the pass in just ever so slightly. We're already playing nice and wide. Let's go attack in. Demand a bit more and score lots of goals. Come on, half an hour gone. We've definitely had the better of the game. 63% possession, 1-0 up, more shots than those. They're still going for this 4-3-3. And the ball is hit over the top. Quito Diawa out wide. Oh, again, another header that we cannot win. We are terrible in the air. I was going to pause it, but wait. Pyre Forson. Catton's running towards it. Gets it. Lennon Peak. Oh. We are causing some trouble from these long throws. 
to say the least. And it seems to have died down a bit. I don't know if the teams have cottoned on to what we're doing, but we haven't scored half as many goals. Uh, 6.4 for Georgie, who really isn't performing at all well this season. I must admit, George, the last couple of games, you have disappeared. Ever since you didn't get the hat-trick, which I think you should have had, your head has dropped. We need to lift it back up, mate. Okay, Swifty wins it well. Hill break it through. The pass was on, but he didn't choose to take it and instead hits it 12 yards wide. Very selfish play, Mr. Hill. Big throw. Go on, Apaya Forsen. He's winding it up. Catton's there. Doesn't come through to it. Lennon, Lennon. Oh. I like that, though. He was composed. I'm going to drop it back to positive. I'm going to tell these boys to focus. And I think we need one more substitution. Fitness-wise, we're okay. Oh, Vogel can come for Jamar Loza, who hasn't really turned up. I say that an awful lot about players not turning up. 90th minute is gone. Hold on, please. 93, 94, we've won it. Get in there. Come on. Huge win. A massive, massive win. A clean sheet for the first time in wherever. Four goals disallowed. The linesman had more action than our goalkeeper, but I do not care. Get in there. A huge win. Right. Let's look at this table and get set for the next episode. There's your table. We are officially out of the relegation zone. Kings Lane are on dreadful form as well, man. They've drawn one in the last five games. We've actually picked up a win now, which is good. Nobody's really on good form down there at all, but we are still meandering down the bottom. Our home record is terrible. Five wins out of 18, and we've lost five home games in the bounce. Wow. And away, how is that looking? We are actually a lot better, look. And we've had two... Two wins, one draw, and two losses in the last five. So maybe we play the rest of our games away from home. Who knows? Okay, next episode, we're coming back for that Woking game. They are the next competitors for us. Bromley, actually, in 21st, we play. who are also down with us, but that's a bit too soon. Torquay, not a bad side. Yeovil, going to bat us, batter us, I should say. And then Woking will come back for that game. And by that stage, we'll be looking at an end of season drama no doubt and it's not going to be an easy run in looking at those games if you have enjoyed that episode it's been a bit of a long one today i do apologize but hit that thumbs up button means an awful lot to me and i'll see you guys in the next episode of margate to glory you guys take care